glad that we're bookending our show with Ninja because this will really drive the point home that I've been trying to make, which is this is a company whose motto it is, how can we make it better? How right. can we make everything that you're using in the kitchen easier, more powerful, better, and then QVC makes it more affordable. So my pick of the show is here, but it's also in many cases your pick as well. There are the stars that tell you it's customer top rated. It's the Ninja Pulse, big 60 ounce, powerful 650 watt blender and food processor all rolled into one guys it's on a 13 dollar easy pay five easy payments of 13 dollars and 18 cents we've got red we've got black and we got a lot of demonstrations to show you what a beast it is okay so we have lots of ninjas right mm -hmm. so why this one small footprint it's a food processor and the blender built into into one machine it use, incorporates the ninja technology and it has extra power right so you can do food processing and do the tough ice grapes and so forth so here we always demonstrate how the ninja does ice and remember the reason it do ice is it has the stacked blade so with the pulse all you're doing is That's taking two pulse. fingers and you just pulse it until you hear that those ice cubes you, you don't really don't hear them anymore, right? They're not banging around, and then you just hold it down. And when you don't hear them at all, you've turned all of those ice cubes to snow. Now, blenders have been trying to do that for since blenders first came right. out, and they couldn't do it, right? Even the most expensive three or four hundred dollar ones yeah. don't do it. I mean, even huh? they don't do it, right? Isn't that amazing? Ice to snow. Yay. Now, why is that important? Well, when you're making drinks that have ice in them, that's what's happening inside, is that's actually turning to snow. So when we go over here now to make a restaurant quality, resort quality cocktail, we're gonna take ice. Now, we're gonna take not a mix, but we're actually gonna take fresh fruit when we make this margarita, right? And a little bit of the go-go juice, right? <laughs> <laughs> and now some more ice. Go go juice. That's what David calls it. The so potent I call potable. It. Yes. So remember how hard this is to use. Take your two fingers, right, right here. Now we're doing the same thing as we did with the ice. We're pulsing until we see that we're not hearing very much ice runs around, and then, mm -hmm. then we turn it on and let it blend. Pulse it maybe once or twice, and we're taking that whole orange, that whole lime, yeah, there were seeds that whole in there. lemon, the seeds, everything, and we're using that to make a fresh fruit margarita. And I can already just, tell this is gonna be good. You just you leave it on until you see that it's reached the texture you like. Yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty good, don't you? That looks good to me. That took all of two fingers to do. So before this pours, I want you to think about your own blender, right? And if you try to do big amounts of ice inside of it, what would that look like at the end of 30 to 45 seconds? Does it look like this? Because that looks like the all-inclusive, the swanky resort. You don't want to taste this, do you? Or maybe you do. I'm not sure. Okay, <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> Bob's like, I don't know you very well. You, you do you the, want this? You get the okay, good job. I just had coffee. Let's go ahead and chase it with margarita. Why not? But you can see the texture of this Now, ice. I want you to taste the difference when you're using fresh fruit. Oh, that's you don't cool. have all that sweet fructose right. and so forth. That you fake you taste. actually have real fruit mm. margarita. And a little bit of a kick. Yeah. A lot of bit of a kick. And you can do the same thing with a daiquiri or whatever, mm. whatever else all you're using. All it's missing is a little umbrella. This is the difference, but I think a lot of us at home think to achieve this kind of texture in ice or anything else that we're going to be blending comes with a big price tag. Well, to start, this is $65.92, but then we've got it on the five easy pays, $13.18. And remember, we're talking about not just blending, we're talking about food processing as well. So I want you to stick around to see all the demonstrations on this. Okay, right. so I'm mellowing you, you, you out a little bit with our coffee. Right? <laughs> it takes a all lot right. more than that to so mellow me out. The thing that probably gets made more than anything in a Ninja, right, besides mm -hmm. margaritas, is ice cream. So to make ice cream, all you have to do is take any frozen fruit. In this case, we're taking peaches. And you take any dairy. So you control totally what's in here. You can use sugar or you can use a non-dairy or non-sugar sweetener. Great. It, you can use skim milk, half and half. Half and half. Cream, depending on how rich Almond you milk. want it. You can yep. make uh, uh, ice cream for as little as 80 calories for two scoops to 300 calories to two scoops, all by how much dairy and what quality of dairy you make in it. So what's going to happen as we pulse this is we're going to break up the, the uh, peaches into small pieces. Now that's frozen. So what it's going to do by the law of thermodynamics is it's going to transfer the cold from the frozen peaches into the dairy into the and you're going to end up with a soft serve ice cream. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
thing is a beast. Yes, now you have to have power to do this, I can guarantee you that. Well, this is where most blenders can start to smell the burn, right? And the, the other thing with the pulse, you can always control it and get it to exactly the texture that you want. Now, if you want it to have it chunky, it's chunky. If you want to have it smooth, you can have it smooth. But okay. isn't a lot of that because those blades are going from top to bottom? Like, this isn't just a set of blades at the bottom where everything's getting ground up at the base. No. It's but going instead, it's like torrents all throughout the entire unit, and that's why everything top to bottom is being ground so fast. I want you to taste this. Okay, remember a minute ago this, this the was best show ever. This, this was just frozen peaches. <laughs> I went from and some Thai dairy. coffee to margaritas to fresh peach, frozen yogurts and ice creams. You can't buy that. And this doesn't have any preservatives in it. You know exactly what's in there. Fruit, dairy, and whatever sweetener you that add. Is so, so good. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, and I get like little bites of peach in there. It's beautiful. You control with the pulse. If you want little bites, you get little bites. If you want it totally smooth, it gets totally smooth. And you smooth. know what you're eating. That is the big difference, especially for me. I know a lot of you have been making commitments since the start of the new year to eat healthier, to drink healthier. You think that it's time consuming. You think that it's expensive and maybe you've burned out by now. I want you to hit the reset button. And maybe it takes just one tool in your kitchen to kind of get you started up again. And maybe you're making those smoothies and you're making those fresh healthier desserts and you're doing it thanks to the ninja two color choices here you've got the platinum and the cinnamon and you've got them on a great easy pay five of them to be exact brings it down to thirteen dollars and eighteen cents but this is a kitchen appliance with moving parts that is customer top rated that's a really big deal because everybody has different expectations on what to get and you're loving what you're getting every time uh, uh, probably the next most popular thing to do with the ninja is to grind your own beef chicken or pork okay wow, I've never in done this that. case you can add your other ingredients so we have lean ground beef and we have cheese low-fat cheddar cheese in here we're actually going to grind it and have the cheese inside okay so as you begin to cook it it's going to melt out so again yeah. all you do is put it in there you can stack it up to the top of the six blades up there you pulse and you can watch it as it starts to break it down. And when you see that it's starting to break it down evenly, then you just hold it down. You can stop it at any point and look at it. And what you want to do is you want to grind it to the texture of hamburger. If you're going to make hamburgers, if you're making a meatloaf, you want to grind it small, uh, finer. If you're making pork sausage, you make it even finer than that. So you control just with your pulsing how fine you're make, grinding your burgers. So now this is hamburger with the cheese inside. So when you form those into burgers, the cheese melts out, okay? It melts out and it actually forms a little twill, a little crust on the right. burger and it's so delicious. I mean, I've seen the pre-made burger patties at the grocery store with different ingredients blended in that are pretty expensive and they're there for convenience sake, right? But then also you don't know exactly what else is in there. You saw exactly what was in there. It was done in virtually seconds. It didn't burn out the blender. That's part of the reason why you guys are loving it so much. So now we're going to make our Lean Green Ninja here, where we've taken spinach, where we've taken fresh fruit. We've got uh, 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 Hawaiian fruit, mangoes, pineapple. We've got ice. We've got coconut water. And so this is a very, very healthy drink. We simply put it on, and again, we're going to use the pulse. Just two fingers. That's the only control on this. You hear the ice breaking up? Mm -hmm. And once you pulse it until you see, well, there's no, I don't hear the ice rattling around in there, then just turn it on and blend it. You get to control how smooth that you want this to be just by holding it down. Now, while I'm doing this, you want to chop some garlic? Yes. So just go ahead and go ahead just and chop now. it, just pulse it. And when it gets down to minced yep. or chopped, however you want it, you can just stop it and it'll be done. Perfect. That looks about right to me. Okay. So we can either buy the garlic in bulk and chop and mince it ourselves, or we can buy the big jar of the pre-minced garlic with preservatives for a higher price tag. Which would you prefer? This is why a lot of you are coming to QVC looking for the blenders and the food processors. You want to grate your own cheese. You want to make your own peanut butter. You want to do your own smoothies. You want to make your own juices. 
and it ends up being more cost effective over time. And you know this already, but it's harder to find the blender that can really do the job. With blades from top to bottom, with larger capacity and a stronger motor to power through, here it is. But all that being said, you're probably thinking really big price tag. In some cases it can be. And even this unit itself retails at nearly $80. But at QVC, it's less than 66. At QVC, it's on five easy payments, for about the cost of maybe lunch today, if you're going out for lunch, you can be using it at home indefinitely. Okay, so I want to address here. Notice we didn't get much, right? That's because we need to add a little bit more coconut water. I don't have it here, oh. right? <laughs> so uh, if I blend this a little bit longer, it'll actually liquefy it and we can drink it. But I would want it just a little bit juicier than that. Perfect. Now, okay. here we're going to use it instead of a great big stand mixer. We're just actually going to use it to make a standard cake mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our eggs, we're going to take our oil and water. This is what you do with a standard cake mix, right. right? And instead of getting out the big stand mixer, we're going to use the Ninja Blender. Now, why would I do that? Well, first of all, it's not nearly much, as much of a mess. Second of all, what it does with the blender is it actually whips air into it, right? So gotcha. I, I'm not only mixing it, but I'm whipping air into it. So when I make it, it makes it light Fluffier. and fluffier. It's almost like I'm adding my own pre- yes. um, baking powder or baking soda. Isn't that smart? And fewer items and pieces, parts to clean when it's right. all said and done. So there is our cake mix. <laughs> so, so if those instructions say blend it for three minutes, guess what? You just cut that the 30 seconds. by at least a third. And that cake is going to rise up so nice and high because it already that. Ooh, has like got a lot of air. Mix? Pancake mix, waffle mix, it's absolutely yeah, perfect for that. Yeah, so, so smart. So Two now, color choices. This is going to be our last demonstration on my pick of the show. Five easy payments of $13 and change. This is the cinnamon. We also have it available in platinum. All right, what are so, we going to make this So I just finish? used the coffee extract from our, 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 from our, our ninja, ninja coffee. coffee bar. Okay, and so now we're going to make our ninja chino. Now you notice this is actually going to get lighter as it blends mm -hmm. because as that ice breaks down, do you hear the ice in there? Right. As it gets smaller, it reflects more light. So you can actually tell how fine it's getting by how white it's, it's getting. That's great. We bookend the show with coffee and not just me, the drink as well. K43228, <laughs> my pick of the show. I'm going to be the most caffeinated gal in the entire building. Thanks to Bob Warden and Ninja. Thank you so much for bringing it to us. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you, Bob. Mm, thanks, coffee. All right, here we go. I believe we've got the lovely Carolyn up next.